my boys and girls. Happy Friday night. Um, I am here to read you guys a story before you go to bed and hopefully you have a very great weekend. Um, I will touch base with you guys again on Monday, the next official school day. Super awesome. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in and sending me updates. It really makes my heart so happy and it makes me really think that all of the hard work is worth it. I know that it is, but seeing your guys' bright and shiny faces just makes my heart so full. So thank you guys so much for being here and committing to this as much as I have been. Um, it really makes this weird situation feel normal-ish, I guess, as normal as it could feel. So thank you to all of you families who are working extra hard to make this possible and to all of you kiddos who are absolutely doing the best that you can to be the sweetest little people at home for your new teachers and your grown-ups. I'm sure you're being safe, kind, honest, responsible, and working hard. Um, I'm going to read you guys tonight. I'm going to read you the Armadillo's Orange. I have never read this story, so I'm excited to share it with you and all of the internet viewers out there. <laughs> All right. At the wild edge of an orange grove, a young armadillo dug a burrow in a soft, sandy soil. Close by lay a big, round orange that had fallen from its tree. The orange made it easy for armadillo to find his brand new home. Each day, armadillo left his burrow to hunt for insects and grubs to eat. He followed a narrow path that wound its way around the tangled stems of plants and trees. Every time he walked the winding path, Armadillo passed beneath a lovely green snake climbing on a branch. But Armadillo never looked up. He just hurried on his way. So he never saw the snake on the branch. Can you guys see it okay? Down the path, a shy rattlesnake was coiled in the shade of big drooping leaves, but Armadillo quickly waddled by, looking only straight ahead. Then an old, slow-moving tortoise crossed the path. Armadillo had to stop and wait. He shuffled his feet impatiently, and the tortoise finally passed. He hurried on he hurried onto a fallen tree where he could dig in the rooting in the rotting wood for tasty grubs. A scrub jay called out in its loud raspy voice. Armadillo closed his ears. Honeybees buzzed by on their way to their hive. Armadillo covered his face with his long claws. He seems kind of impatient, maybe a little bit spicy. When the other animals had finally gone, Armadillo gobbled up every grub that he could find. Then he rushed back down the path. When he saw the big round orange, he knew that he was home. Each day was the same, but one day while Armadillo was away, a sudden gust of wind blew through the grove. The wind pushed Armadillo's orange just enough to make it roll downhill into a weedy ditch. When Armadillo returned, he could not find his burrow. He walked and walked, looking for the orange that marked the entrance to his home. Everything seemed strange and wrong with the big round orange gone. Armadillo wandered lost and all alone then suddenly, he smelled the sweet scent of honeybees and saw the old tortoise slowly crossing the path. Together, Armadillo and Tortoise watched the honeybees buzz by. Now, if you guys remember, he had never watched the honeybees buzz by before. He just kind of hurried back to his burrow. Hmm. And he wasn't very friendly to the tortoise last time that he saw him either. I wonder why. Then Armadillo heard the scrub jay calling in its raspy voice. He followed the sound and soon he came upon the shy rattlesnake nestling in the shade. 
When Armadillo looked up, he saw the lively green snake climbing on a branch. Armadillo smelled and heard and saw things, and he knew that he was home. So it sounds like Armadillo was using his five senses to try to use his best instincts to get home. He was looking with his eyes, he was smelling with his nose, listening with his ears. Armadillo missed the big round orange shining brightly near his hole, but with neighbors living all around, he didn't need it anymore. The end. So in this story, what I'm thinking about is if you slow down and really look at your surroundings and pay attention to what's around you, you might find something that can help you and that's really cool. So my challenge to you tonight and this weekend is to find something that you really love around the house that you haven't done in a long time. Maybe that could be um, organizing all of your shoes or working with your grown up to cook dinner or finding a toy that you haven't played with in a very long time or doing a puzzle that you haven't done or maybe something that you don't even notice when you're very, very busy living your student lives. So that is my challenge to you this weekend is to really think about something that maybe you've been forgetting since you've been so busy. Anyways, boys and girls, thank you so much again for listening. Um, I did add on a private Facebook page just for our class where you guys can post videos or comment or talk to me. These videos that are just meant for the kids do not allow comments on them. Um, I had thought previously that the kiddos would be able to comment, but because in the selection where I post, because I don't click or because I do click that it's kid content, they don't allow comments on there. And when I started thinking about it, I really kind of thought that that made sense. Um, there is a new Facebook up also talking about kind of teacher expectations and what it might look like at your house. Feel free to watch that and share that with anyone that you may like. Please comment on it so that I can answer questions or get you any new content that you need. We have a couple days left to grab stuff out of our classroom, so if you guys want me to do that, I would be more than happy to. Um, but you should let me know, ish, and then I can just email that stuff to you, but we are not supposed to have contact until they lift the um, order to stay at home or with your families or loved ones. Um, thank you for listening. I miss you guys, and I'm sure that you're gonna sleep really good and have a great sunny weekend. Enjoy it while you can. Good night.